Bakandi art is a rather underappreciated type of art. The uh, artist who made these uh, group of arts, these artworks, are from Makandi tribes from Mozambique who went to Tanzania. From the dates of these artworks are from 19, late 1960s. It's uh, highlighting specific regions, specific culture from one of the African countries which allow us to get to see their craftsmanship. There are three genres of Makandi art. Majority of the collections that are on display are called the Shatani. It's a spirited figure. Those are kind of a, have these grotesque twisted forms often featuring three, four different um, creatures of human forms. Their bodies are conjoined and twisted. It's almost like a kind of giving surrealistic vision and it's quite imaginative and very unique. Several pieces that are more naturalistic, those are called Bina Damu and those are more realistic renderings of uh, customs of the Makandi tribes. Some scholars said the uh, Ujama sculptures uh, represent um, political uh, intention from uh, the uh, Makandi tribes because um, Mozambique was once um, colonized by Portu Portugal and there was a resistance against the colonial power and this shows kind of the togetherness of the people. There are a lot of speculations why these sculptures are looking like this. Some speculated that artists were making them under, under the influence of alcohol or drug. They might have been womanizers, so these are male artists who made them. Professor Leung V. Hirsch served as a dean of a school of business for a while. So he was uh, uh, hired in 1985 and retired in 2003. Artworks are given by him, partly because he was working as economic advisor for a research organization that was helping Tanzanian government. He has collected more than like a couple of hundred sculptures. He wanted to contribute something to next generation, the students' body here. Uh, rather than keeping it in his closet, you know, by donating, it's allowing the opportunity for students to study. So we have had many classes coming in. Not every student go to museums. They have, they are exposed very little. Seeing actual art in the, um, in reality and seeing them for real that makes a big difference i think in terms of researching and studying uh, these uh, artworks because when you see them in real flesh and uh, you can get a sense of the scale of the artwork and the material and the texture and the patterns also in this case the shadows that are reflected on the walls are incredible and they seem to have a life of their own. So it's representing specific regional art from East Africa, a uh, kind of art that Sunni Old Westbury community rarely get to see. We take the pride that uh, the fact that we have this opportunity to expose, display, showcase these uh, um, works of art.